Hey guys, it's your buddy Rome. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Rapid4 Slim. This is a level two holster. Uh, you guys probably have noticed that I did do a video on this holster just recently, but because of the obvious, there was a firearm in the scene. Um, some platforms are you know, opposed to that, so I'm redoing this video. And there will be, be actually some uh, new information in this video as well. All right guys, so this is a level two holster. And what that means is it does have a retention system built into it. That is going to be this little lever right here. So once your uh, firearm is inside of this holster, it's gonna lock in. As you guys can see, the little mechanism right there that's moving, that's what holds the holster in place. Now this is the light bearing version of this holster. You can also purchase this holster. Uh, without it being the light bearing, uh, your retention is going to be right here. You also notice that you have your suppressor size heights, I mean sights, um, clearance here on this holster as well. Really, really nice design. Now, originally when I purchased this holster, I got it with the paddle, okay? So this paddle came with it, and what's nice about this paddle, guys, is that you can adjust the cant. So you can adjust it forward, you can adjust it back. You can also adjust the ride height a little bit. So you have the option of, you know, moving these screws up and also, uh, you know, adjusting your cant on it, which is really nice. The uh, three screws that come with it, I'm going to show you guys those. These all come with Loctite already on the screws. So pretty, pretty simple design, but very, very uh, well built. All right, now the Rapid Force locking belt slide is what we're going to be upgrading this holster to. And that is actually this device that you guys see right here. Now what this is gonna allow you to do is to set your belt size. So whatever size belts you wear, um, whether it's gonna be your everyday belt, a duty belt, or something even larger, you can adjust this portion right here by just removing these two screws and then offsetting it however you need to to accommodate that belt. And then once the belt is in place, you're just gonna press these two pieces together like you guys see here. You hear that uh, reassuring snap. That's gonna let you know that it is locked in place. So that's pretty much it when it comes to the slide itself. Now, the way that you're going to mount uh, the accessory for this holster is going to be this little um, adapter that you see right here. Okay, so this is gonna basically mount the same way that the paddle holster mounted. Now, if you are interested in this system and you're, you're using the full rapid force uh, holster system, you will need this little offset that you guys see right here. And what this is designed to do is to give a little bit more distance between the, the, the uh, slide extension and this mounting portion here that's gonna be connected to the holster. Now it actually comes with two different screws. So you get the long screws, you get the long screws here if you're gonna be using it with the uh, Rapid Force holster, and if you're using it with the Slim, then you're gonna get these smaller screws. Now in this video, I'm actually gonna just use the screws that came with the paddle. What's gonna happen, let me show you how this actually connects to the slide. So when the slide when this is connected to the holster, this is gonna slide into place like that and it's gonna lock in. You guys see how that goes? It's gonna lock in like so. And then when you're ready to release this, and the only way it's gonna release is when you depress these two little buttons right here and that'll allow you to be able to take this out. So, okay guys, so I just loosely um, put these in. What I like to do is just go all the way around so I get it to the first point where it's tight. And then I'll go to my next screw and tighten that down a little bit as well before I do the final torque on these screws. So as you guys can see here, we have all three of them in. And then we're just gonna go around one more final time just to make sure that everything is torqued really nice and tight. Lock that down. It doesn't have to be super gorilla tight for these to stay in place. They're just gonna be uh, pretty much just snug. As long as you know that they're not gonna come loose, you're gonna be good to go. And then the way this works, again, it's just gonna lock. All right, guys, and there you have it. Simply enough, like I said, you can just depress these two little tabs here on the side and then pull, and that's gonna pull the holster out. And this is how it's gonna mount back 
belt into uh, the slide extension once you have this already fitted for your belt you're going to be pretty much good to go so also let me show you a couple other things that you can get so the uh, belt slide comes in actually three different sizes as you guys can see here now this is the locking belt slide that i have right here but you also have the standard belt uh, slides that you can use like for your weapon belts duty belts battle belts whatever you want to call it uh, you also have your drop um, feature here. You have this Molly uh, type of adapter here as well. And then you have a paddle that we looked at as well that you can use for this. So it really just depends on how you want to run your holster. But you do have a ton, a ton of options. And of All course, right guys, it's been your buddy Rome with Rome Knows Tech. And I just wanted to do a quick video, a second version of the video uh, that's going to be more platform friendly. <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you all in the next video. Until then, stay safe. Keep your eyes on the target. Peace. I am out.